Okay, today we're going to be seeing how much suction the human lungs are capable of. Okay, to test this, I have a vacuum gauge here and I'm going to suck on it and see how much vacuum I can pull on it. And I can already foresee the comments in the comment section. Just keep it clean, guys, okay? And then once I see the maximum vacuum that I can pull on here, I'll try to suck the air out of my vacuum chamber and see if I can vacuum anything out in there the same way a pump would. So in trying this, there's two types of suction that you're capable of. The first one is, is when you breathe in, when you take a breath, your diaphragm is the muscle that's pulling down and making your lungs expand and pulling in air. And that is the weaker of the two suctions that you can do. The stronger one is basically what you use when you suck on a straw or something. So it's not the muscle you use to take in a breath like this. It's actually the muscle you use when you're sucking water out of a straw. And what happens there is you suck in, but you're not actually sucking into your lungs at that point. You suck in and you basically create a small vacuum in your mouth and that sucks the water up into the straw. And that can actually be really strong because it's not relying on the huge diaphragm to pull it down, but it's relying on your mouth muscles to create a small vacuum in your mouth. And then you um, either let that air out of your nose or suck it into your lungs afterwards. But the strong muscles in your mouth can create a very strong vacuum. So let's see how strong of a vacuum I can get on this vacuum gauge here. The first one just using my diaphragm to suck it in and the next one to suck on it as you would a straw and kind of use your mouth muscles to create the vacuum. So negative one here means negative one atmospheres. That would be the maximum vacuum possible of any pump anywhere. That is the maximum vacuum that can be achieved. Okay, the first one I'm just going to use my diaphragm. This is the weaker of the two, but let's see what vacuum I can pull with that. So I'm basically just going to take a breath in. Did it move? Can't really tell. That's moving a little bit. So basically it looks like I'm getting to around uh, 0.9 atmospheres, so I'm decreasing the atmospheric pressure by 0.1 atmospheres, so not very much at all. But now let's use my mouth muscles to create the vacuum in my mouth and see how strong of a vacuum I can pull. Okay, so it's basically going to move in stages. It's uh, basically like a pump. So I'm going to suck some out, it'll create a vacuum and then remove that air and then keep sucking and it'll, it should keep going down and down and down. Let's see how far I can get. Okay. Well, that already went a lot. Okay. Hmm, wow, it's like negative point nine. I can keep the seal on my tongue. Hmm, wow, that was negative point nine atmospheres. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a really strong vacuum. I'm really surprised that I was able to get that far. So that's really hard to do because basically, once you get it to that low of vacuum, uh, the inside of your mouth just starts to stick to the bottom of the gauge because there's such a low vacuum in this tube here. So it looks like after a few pumps of my mouth, I was able to get it down to negative 0.9 atmospheres below atmospheric pressure. So 0.1 absolute pressure. That's awesome. So what's pretty cool about this is how low of a vacuum you can actually achieve with your mouth. Um, so a while ago, remember, I put my arm in the vacuum chamber, and when I did that, it turned my arm completely red, it drew some blood out of the surface there, um, and basically, it looked like it would look if you had a giant hickey on your hand. And it makes perfect sense now why it looked like a hickey, because basically, you can almost make as low a vacuum that I can get with my vacuum pump with just your mouth. And so, there actually are risks of blood clots from having a hickey. Okay, now to test it out with my vacuum chamber. 
So this is going to be a lot harder because there's a huge volume in here. When I tested it before, I just tested it on the gauge. So basically all I had to do was to get the small volume inside this tube here to a low pressure. But in order to get this gauge to move, I have to reduce the volume of this huge volume in here. Uh, so that's actually really hard to do. It's going to take a lot of removal of air. Um, I tried to avoid saying a lot of sucking. So let's start this with a crushed bottle. Let's see if I can get it to expand in the vacuum chamber. Okay, here we go. So this is going to take a lot of work. I'm already tired from getting that to a low pressure. Here we go. Pause there, I closed the valve. So basically with a full breath of air, I only got it to that low of pressure. Um, and since now it's to a lower pressure than I can achieve with just my diaphragm, the only way to remove the air is to do those um, uh, small mouth movements and get small amounts of air. So this is going to take a long time. Okay, this isn't gonna happen. <laughs> My muscles are already really tired and I've only gotten down to negative 0.1 atmospheres. But what's interesting about it is that, you can see this lid, it's on there. It's not coming off. Normally it just sits on top. But now that I've reduced the pressure in there, the atmospheric pressure is just holding it on tight. So I can at least do that with just the suction of my mouth. So why don't we, instead of me doing it, why don't we use my pump to remove the air to um, the same pressure I was able to get with the vacuum gauge and see what it looks like. Okay, let's use the vacuum pump to get to negative 0.9 atmospheres, which is what I was able to achieve, just an average person. That's the vacuum I was able to pull. Probably people with stronger face muscles than me could get down to a lower pressure than that. But for an average person, I'd say you can get to around negative 0.9 atmospheres. So let's see what negative 0.9 atmospheres does to this squished bottle in here. Okay, I'll stop it when it gets to negative 0.9. Already filling up. Whoa. <laughs> so the air is expanding inside of it. We're still not there yet. We're at around 0.2 atmospheres, negative 0.8 atmospheres below atmosphere pressure. Getting there. Okay, we're at around negative 0.9 atmospheres. This is about the vacuum I was able to pull with just my mouth. So you can see it's a really strong vacuum. That crushed bottle expanded fully and is even under pressure in there. So let's let the air back in and watch the atmosphere crush it again. Three, two, one. Sweet. So humans are almost as good as a vacuum pump, but not really. If you wanna move a large volume of air, there's no way a human body can do it. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe. 
And if you're one of my subscribers that hasn't hit that bell to be notified when a new video comes out, and you can be notified, be the first to comment my videos. I'm usually more active on replying right when I release my videos, so if you want to be notified right away, hit that bell, and we'll see you next time.